It's one of those days we need to really, truly celebrate our comrades in radio. You get to see the faces behind the voices. Uh, News 1130 is where we're going. Kyle Donaldson on location. Hey, Kyle. Hey guys, this is so cool. We're behind the scenes this morning here at News 1130. This is Trina Wood, the program director, and you guys are celebrating a huge anniversary this month. We are 20 years. I can't believe it. Time flies when you're having fun. I, I like to say that if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. Speaking of work, let's talk about the operation you guys have in here. This is this is quite the operation. Well, it is Western Canada's largest radio newsroom. Uh, we're very proud of it. Um, all of the workstations that you can see around here can go live at any time, and which we we do quite often because the cornerstone of our programming obviously is breaking news so anytime anything happens in Metro Vancouver or around the world we are the first to let people know about it and uh, we go live almost instantaneously and you're huge on social media as well we are we're very proud of the fact that we have uh, close to 110,000 followers wow. on Twitter we've got a very active Facebook page it just I think goes to show that uh, the people in Metro Vancouver are very engaged with uh, current events and they love to talk about it they love to know what's going on and they're they're, they're very active with us and we love them all. Let's talk about the, the 20th anniversary of News 1130. You have a special sort of question you're asking listeners to chime in with this year. Yeah, we, we want to know what is the news story over the last 20 years that has had the biggest impact on them personally and why? Uh, because we think that, you know, behind every headline are personal stories and we love to hear people's personal stories. So you can participate in that using using the hashtag 20 years of news. It's also on uh, online on our web page. It's on our app. It's on our Facebook page. Uh, we want to hear everyone's story, so please uh, participate with us because uh, that's what makes the news the news. Now, speaking of everyone's story, I want to hear Russ LeCate's story. So, Russ, we're here. This is the big boss. You sign Russ's checks, right? I sure do. <laughs> and, Russ, uh, your, your performance review, Trina told me, that's up for discussion. You've got a 9 a.m. didn't go over that well. My favorite part of this whole yeah, morning so Russ, far is that you've got Trina about. in there working this morning, but we all know the truth. Trina's the dark overlord of the newsroom. What's she doing in there oh, working today? You know? <laughs> we'll talk about that later, buddy. There's some uh, good-looking uh, folks in the back around there as well. Simon's got a jacket on today. I see that looking pretty Simon's good. Simon's got a jacket yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, he does. Trina, Look at maybe, him. Uh, Russ high. Check and see if Sonia's playing solitaire over there. We know that goes on a lot. <laughs> You're playing solitaire, Simon? Yes. Okay. okay. He's got okay. solitaire. Good. So everything's normal on Friday back at News 1130. <laughs> it's all normal. And there's no way I'm welcome back in that building. They've even changed my nope. desk over there. So, yeah, it's called the web desk now or something, apparently. Now, we are here in Russ LeCate's old cubicle. Fun fact. This is Denise Wong. She's the managing web editor. You guys have a lot of social media followers, don't you? Yes, we do. We have uh, over 120,000 followers, which we are so proud of. And we are thankful for every single one of them. Um, we, uh, we are very live on News 1130. 30.com just as much as we are on air and uh, something I wanted to show you guys is how things have changed over time I mean back in 1998 our website didn't look the same this is what it looked like we had room for four stories there's a little bit more news happening these days so if you see down over time things have gotten a little bit better our website has improved and uh, this was the second last incarnation this is the most recent. So if you head to news1130.com, you can see how times have changed a lot. You've come a long way over 20 years, that's for sure. Okay, more behind the scenes fun coming up here in the newsroom in just a little bit as we wish News 1130 a happy 20th birthday, you guys. Yeah, send our love, Kyle. That's quite the milestone, especially in this day and age. So uh, more to come from News 1130. Thank you so much. We're live this morning here over at News 1130. We're going to take you into the heart of the uh, situation here. This is the control room where everything happens. We've got Mike Lloyd and we've got Rian Ford. They are anchoring the morning news as we are on the air right now. Mike, say good morning here. Uh, you guys are turning 20 this year. We are. Yeah, we're getting old. <laughs> but you look good for 20. You got good doctors, I got to say this. Uh, what is it that you guys are doing here? Tell us what you're up to. Uh, well, we were bringing everything that uh, the reporters and everybody else have put together and basically giving it to our listeners in a relatable way, hopefully. Now, Rick Dollywall is on right now doing uh, doing sports. We've got Russ LeCade coming up in just a second. You guys talk to Russ every single day, right, Rian? We do. We love him dearly. He's, he was ours before he was yours. You know. Well, I mean, we have to share. Share as he's here. Now, you've worked here for quite a while. You've done the morning shift for a long time. What time do you get up at in the morning? First alarm goes off at 2.45. Ooh, that's early than I get up. Yeah, it hurts every day. It's nasty. But, you know, it's it's worth it because it's, it's a great team of people and we get to do work that makes us really proud to be a part of, you know, an organization like this. So. But what a cool job that you guys have. I mean, every day you get to come in and experience what goes on in the world with all the listeners who are listening right now. On the front lines every day, and that's what keeps it really fresh and really exciting. 
There we go. Had to hit a button. Uh, yeah, uh, it is uh, it is fantastic. I mean, we're always the first to know and the first to be able to sort of pass it on to other people, and that feels pretty good. Uh, you know what else looks good? Uh, this tie here. Russ LeCade, I brought out. Do you like my news 1130 green tie today? It's St. Patrick's Day. Very fashionable. Yeah, I brought that in. Russ LeCade, check out Rian Ford's uh, bow tie. What do you think of this, That's buddy? That's the magic of radio right there. He looking looking wonderful, Rian and, and Mike, and I heard Dolly Wall in the background as well there. The other part, yeah, magic part yeah. about radio is these guys managing to fool you that we're all tight and we're all buds or something like that. It's pretty you guys, good. Are you guys yeah. dressed up for today? Be honest. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, this this belonged to my father, so I'm, yeah. I'm wearing it for the first time today. He's Bravo. the one who got me into the biz with his uh, his love of writing and communication, so that's why I'm here. Awesome. How cool Rian. is that, Russ? That's yeah, nice. Rian's one of our stars. I'm sure you know that. He's a rising star that sort of keeps our, our listeners uh, tuned in all morning long, and we're glad to have him along. He's one of the great team players at News 1130. Congratulations to everybody on our 20th anniversary. News 1130, let's celebrate. Hello. That's right. We're celebrating 20 years at News 1130. Guess where I am right now? I'm where Richard Detman, if you you watch us every morning at 6.50. Richard Detman does his hit. This is what he sees on the other side uh, of the camera. That's Richard Detman's camera that we use. And this is Amanda Warwick. She's filling in for him this week because he's yeah. off for a couple days. You're doing pretty well. Yes, thank you. Yeah, it's my second day doing this. I enjoy it. I know Richard Detman. He's wonderful. This being the business best. department. Yes, the whole business department. Right. Yes. Okay, we're going to check in and show you how these guys put a story together. We're live at News 1130. A quick break for us. More BT coming up in just a few. This has been such a cool morning, Jody. We're learning about the whole process of what goes on behind the scenes here. This is Jen Cole. She does traffic for News 1130. Traffic on the ones. She's uh, the, the source you need to know as you head out the door. These are all the reporters. Give us a wave, you guys. We're live this morning on TV. This is Simon. This is Allison. And Allison, you're one of the reporters. Tell us what yeah. you're doing this morning. You're working on one of your stories. Uh, yes. Uh, I've been working on a story on uh, empty empty homes in uh, in Vancouver and the high prices of these empty homes and one bloggers work in uh, tracking the homes that have come down over the last couple of years and so, um, so like how do you put a story together for what we hear on the radio yeah you start with uh, start with a raw interview so you call your interview subject and uh, do an interview usually it's uh, sort of about five minutes or so and uh, and then you write your script so you write an intro I send it to my editor who sends it to the anchors they make any adjustments they want to make. Uh, I write and record a header, which is in the headline package that you hear at the beginning of the newscast. Uh, and then I write my voicer and build it in an audio track or an audio project, which looks like this. And there'll be multiple files up. And, uh, and so I mix down the audio, and it all all goes together. And, and how fast do you have to turn these out? Oh. Uh, Sometimes 10 minutes. Usually I have about 20. Okay, so you're, you're working kind of all the time. This is Simon Drucker over here, another reporter. Uh, how long have you been with News 1130? Four years next month, so my anniversary coming up sort of on the heels of this anniversary. And it's a pretty big anniversary too, right? You guys have got some very loyal listeners. 20 years is, is a pretty substantial uh, anniversary. It's a huge one. It's really exciting. Kind of reminds us how importantly we take our job, you know, bringing uh, you uh, the stories that uh, you want to hear, you know, housing, the pot shops, and uh, take things seriously. So what do you guys do on a, a slow news day where there's not much happening because you still have to go on the air, right? Yeah, you do, you do, and uh, we call those scrounge days sometimes. It's uh, sometimes a good opportunity to delve in some of the lighter stories, uh, maybe how to keep calorie-wise during the Super Bowl or uh, pick up on a follow of something that happened yesterday. Very cool. All right, well, a quick shout-out here to all the hardworking uh, crew at News 1130. Jody, they are turning 20 this year. They look fantastic, and this team uh, working hard throughout the day to bring you all the news you need to hear on News 1130.